Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And the president has signed a very unusual act. It's called S.881 Pro Zwift Act. This act here has, uh, of course, met both uh, Democrat and Republican uh, approval, passing the Senate as well. What is this act? This is a space weather act. <clears throat> And I find it very interesting, especially in light of the, some of the things that I've shared with you guys already in the past. So the act may be cited as the promoting research observation of space weather to improve the forecasting of tomorrow act or the pro swift act. Uh, <clears throat> I've highlighted some very in interesting parts here. I wanted you to look at it should be the policy of the United States to prepare and protect against the social economic impacts of space weather. Interesting. Pro protect against the social economic impacts of space weather phenomena by supporting actions to improve space weather forecasts and predictions, including sustaining enhanced critical observation, identifying research needs and promoting opportunities for research to operations and operations to research collaborations both within and outside the federal government, advancing space weather models, engaging with all sectors of the space weather community, including academia, the commercial sector, and international partners and in understanding the needs of space weather uh, <clears throat> in users. Again, notice that working with international partners, collaborating, uh, research and operation, both with, within and outside the federal government. We're talking about some of these agencies that you're not aware of, maybe? <clears throat> Going down into some of the breakdowns, space weather phenomena pose a significant threat to ground-based and space-based critical infrastructure, modern technological systems, and humans working in space. <clears throat> hmm. Space weather is posing a, a threat, huh? The effects of severe space weather on the electric power grid, satellites, satellite communications, and information aviation operations, astronauts living and working in space and space-based position navigation and timing system could have significant uh, societal, economic, national security, and health impacts. And notice in C, <clears throat> I just highlighted the last part. And prepare for space weather phenomena. We must be having some phenomena they're anticipating coming our way. What do you think? Clear roles and accountability of federal departments and agencies are critical for effective, excuse me, efficient and effective response to threats posed by space weather. Well, you know, I decided to, okay, so actually some friends there on Twitter sent me some things there, uh, including this uh, particular October 15th, a huge fireball meteorite that lift, lit up the skies across West Alaska, also set off newly installed sensors for detecting volcanic activity, the U.S. Geological Survey has said. By the way, that was 360 miles away from where this thing came in. And uh, that was on Newsweek. Huge fireball meteorite over Alaska sets off volcano warning system 360 miles away. <clears throat> to give you an idea of what that looked like, let me see here. It was right here we go. Uh, they actually show an image of it in the sky. Of course, I zoomed in. Katie Kangas operates a bed and breakfast in Ruby, Alaska on the morning of October 15th. She turned to look out her picture window toward the cabin next door. She was waiting for her client to switch the light on which point she would step out and deliver his breakfast. Staring into the darkness, she and her husband, Ivan, saw an enormous ball of light in the sky to the west. It was moving north to south and was quite big. A few hundred miles northwest, Daisy Sowers was standing outside in Silowick, Alaska at about 7.30 a.m. that morning, and she saw something she had never saw before. It looked like fireworks until it split into four dots, she said. Also on Twitter, let me see here if we can pull that one back up. This one is a different one. That was in um, 
Fairbanks, Alaska on the 22nd of October, yet another very large, uh, I guess you classify as a meteorite when it, once it comes into the earth there, kind of give them a nice show going on there. And then um, we also had this guy picking up his. Now this one is, uh, I think this was also the 22nd, or no, 23rd of October. And uh, you actually see this one, it comes in right there, you go right off the top there, where they kind of zoomed it in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So there it is again, <clears throat> right over the top there in that area there. So <clears throat> maybe I should back up a little bit so you can see this a little better. Yeah, let's see, it's gonna come down, there it is, there it is. <clears throat> So more and more, and of course, I know that they got the uh, Haley's Comet uh, debris field too that a lot of people are talking about that we're going through. I want you to catch this little clip here though on Skywatch News. It kind of gives you a little bit of detail about how things are increasing. Let's listen into this one here. Oh, well, why don't I have an audio? Maybe it's because I haven't started speaking yet. Uh, something went wrong there. Oh, I, you know what? I realize why you guys don't have an audio because I am plugged into a different type of audio. <clears throat> any rate there, let me share with you some of the details because they do, they do print it on the screen for you. From October 15th to the 18th, there were nine newly discovered flybys on October 18th to 20th, five flybys, one lunar distance. October the 1st through the 18th, there were fly five bys that were less one lunar distance as well. And uh, let's see, the, they're just, they, they, in this video here, they were speaking about all the, the uh, within the one lunar distance, how many we've had uh, base 2019 there were 77 2020 we've already had 83 but in 2019 that was the entire year we'd already had 77 we've already had 83 and we're just in October so they there's definitely an increase of activity uh, for what's going on and that's what the video here was speaking about I'll take and put that in the uh, description for you so you can look at that for yourself uh, I forget what this was about here. Oh, this was another one. This was back from July. And this particular asteroid, according to the person that posted this on July 22nd, uh, this was this particular asteroid was being picked up on a monitor there. And they claim that this is what caused the Alaskan earthquake at that same time uh, when this particular asteroid came in and made impact. Uh, I don't have any way to corroborate that information, but the point is, there's just a lot of things that are definitely going on. We've also got other issues happening uh, across the United States, and this is one of those. Patriots are, are being seen more and more out in force, uh, protecting, uh, as they claim, the cities there. The police are saying that it's making their job more difficult uh, and I can see where this could spark even more tensions, you know, to have that open presence like that. And I, and, and it's, it's no doubt this is not going to end well. Uh, but this was put out by M MSNBC. And uh, it's, it's definitely something that you might want to look at, especially in light of the fact that we have all the rioting that went on after the uh, black man was shot recently in Philadelphia on Monday, and of course, that was as a result of him ch charging police with a knife, which really is becoming a problem because so many people are, um, are wielding weapons at the police, they're shooting them, and because of the color of the skin, it is increasing the tensions and rioting and looting like just never before. Uh, I don't see why people don't get the orchestrated side of this. And that's including the Patriots uh, not really recognizing that they're being set up for a violent confrontation. 
So, you know, it's coming. And of course, as you saw there in, in the, uh, even the, the black people that are protesting, now they're carrying armed weapons as well as a result of the Patriots showing up. Uh, not to say they may not already have those weapons, uh, more tucked away, smaller weapons, but now they're carrying larger weapons as a result of this. So this is going to get very nasty, and it's going to really turn into a major bloodbath. Um, also, Iran strengthens its forces along the Karbak border amid increased troop buildup. This is really a problem for Iran uh, the situation between Armenia and that of Azerbaijan. And the reason why I say that is even though Iran is building up its troops along the border, Iran historically will stand with Armenia, but they have a very large uh, Azerbaijan population living inside of Iran. And so the, those that are living inside of Iran, like we had here in this tweet here, are, are there protesting uh, for the sake of uh, Azerbaijan and against Armenia. And at the same time, uh, we have Iran standing with Armenia, which is kind of an awkward situation for the United States, don't you think? Because Trump is also standing with Armenia. Iran is standing with Armenia. Israel is standing with Azerbaijan. And of course, the... Uh, the, the ethnic Azerbaijanis that are demonstrating here in the video here are standing with uh, Azerbaijan. So <laughs> this is really a mess out there in the Middle East, and uh, I can only imagine how this may end up turning out. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and uh, thank you for joining us this evening. And don't forget um, uh, our other channels as well. Of course, this, as you will see, will be airing only on um, iConnectFX.com. Uh, but we do have videos being posted over on brand new tube. This new one here came out just now, Dark Winter and Black Sky, Prepare Now, with Yana Benun and Deborah Tavares. Uh, that also is airing besides brand new tube. I think you guys will see that on Fact News Network and Patreon. Uh, information is very important for you to, to be able to hear about. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. Uh, we'll be making some changes on that in the very near future uh, to share more information with you.